G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Just a follow up video to Deep in 15.5. Not so long ago I did a video on this and I was having all sorts of internet problems. So uh, I thought I'd make a follow up video to that and I can basically say it was user error with the uh, problems I was having. And let's have a look here. The, if we go to the mirrors, I had a person who commented on my video. No names is what he runs by. Um, he, he did comment under the video, but he made another private comment saying, I believe you've selected the wrong mirror. So he got me thinking and I thought I'd check it out. So what I did was, there's an Australian mirror here. And if you test the speed, uh, I was probably my impatience while doing the video uh, or just not paying attention because uh, sometimes that's what I do. So I, I was going for the fastest mirror that came up here and they took a long time. So when a fast one came up, I just selected it and run with it, which was pretty much the wrong thing to do. Um, so if you're going to install deep in make sure that you select the mirror that corresponds to the country you're in or the state or province and that would be your best bet to get it going and and the mirrors working correctly and having a faster uh, a more smoother experience for deep in so this is my daughter's laptop uh, not a it's just one she wants to take to school it's um not a beast by any means, it's an Intel Celeron 1.6 gigahertz with 4 gig of memory. Why 4 gig of memory is the, the minimum required these days, I have no idea. I would have thought 8 gig would be the minimum they're selling these days, but obviously must have plenty left on the shelf. So, yep, definitely use error and uh, no names, thank you for pointing that out. I'm happy to... Um, make a follow-up video just to show you that uh, yes deep in was not as bad as what I first thought uh, they probably could be a bit faster but definitely their mirrors are working better than what they were so that was just me selecting the wrong mirrors and that's why it was running so slow since then I've installed uh, I've tried the software center out it it works uh, pretty quick and you can see it's loading quite quickly there. If we go to the categories, uh, that loaded ve very quick and that one did as well. So you can see it's working so much better than what it was uh, before. So if I install uh, Shotwell, for example, we'll just install that and we'll look at the progress here. Uh, if I was to do this before, it would have absolutely taken forever and ever. But you'll probably see this one will be quite a fast install. Still downloading just takes that little bit longer. Um, but that's pretty much the same with everything I have uh, with Australian internet anyway. But once it's downloaded, the install's fairly quick. But you can see it's it's going quite quick already. This would have taken probably five or ten minutes before on the last video. So you can see that uh, that's a huge improvement. So I'm happy to point out that I've done something wrong there and I, I don't want to um, give a bad light on an operating system um, if it's my fault. So I just thought I'd make a follow-up video to show that. And yes, Deepin has improved and it continues to improve with every release i will continue to keep an eye on it um, so what i've done shot well is installed so there you go it didn't take long at all also what i've done is i've installed LibreOffice 6 in here um, and i managed to do that through the stretch back ports but what I've noticed is if you have a look at the menu here, it looks a little bit outdated, it looks very dated, it looks a bit 90s. So if I was to uh, give this to my daughter to use, I think she'd be a bit confused. Here, version 6.0.1.1. So if we just go to save as, 
Um, she would be a bit confused with this. If you arrow up, you get your other documents to select or your other folders to select. But uh, yeah, it looks a bit dated. And I don't think that's Deepin's fault. It's just my fault because I've installed an unsupported um, uh, software because it's, it's not supported by the developers and it's not uh, put in place with the 15.5 uh, version. So I'm assuming that if you was to be running the 15.4 that comes with the software center that would probably look well integrated and a lot more modern than that one. So that's the that would be the issue there. So that's just me messing around with this and if you have a look at uh, in the terminal um, that's the stretch back ports. So yeah that that doesn't do deep in any justice at all. So you're best to run with uh, accept what's here and run with the software that's in that's uh, included with deep in so no doubt their next updates will probably have the more updated software no doubt about that and if you look at your personalization i've got this set on the um on the uh, papyrus icon theme quite like that theme I'm not even going to bother messing around with these because they it doesn't matter what theme you throw at it it doesn't change it so that's one thing that just uh, just niggles me a bit about this one is just that theme there but hey if you're going to run it accept it for what it is and, and that would be fair enough I, I like the launcher change it changes from full screen to small which is good and on the small one it has the um, folders listed at the bottom here for a quick link which is good and categories here or you can have just icons alone so that's quite handy so yes it is improving um, I want to see deep in improve I think it's a nice looking distro just a couple of things that niggle me about it so I'm not sure if it's it's not for me yet uh, maybe for others but for me not yet and it's um, not as fast on this laptop on system monitor on cold boot and I won't judge this now while I'm recording because that would be unfair but I did do a cold boot and it was 1.1 on cold boot so um, that's fairly high considering this is only a, a 4 gig um, memory so yeah I think there's other operating systems that are using a little bit lower than that so I need something a little bit uh, less resource intensive for this computer um, but yep yeah, just to show you my failure to uh, select the correct mirror um, it, it uh, shows you that uh, deep in has improved a fair bit so and I put it in a bit of a bad light on my last video so so anyway I hope that clears a few things up there and uh, thanks once again to No Names for pointing that out. And I'm happy for people to point out whatever I've done wrong there because I'm not perfect. We all make errors. And uh, yeah, making errors and getting them pointed out just makes you more knowledgeable. So um, yep, I'm always in for getting more knowledge. And uh, I'm happy about that. And I'm happy to point it out too. So I hope that clears everything up and thanks for watching.